when you see a team that has debatably as many as five forwards on the pitch at one time, what does that tell you? They have a lot of offensive firepower. You've got to figure out a way to get them all on the field. Cross to the top of the box, extra pass, and ultimately the shot deflected. Ball is loose, frame exposed, UConn on the board. 90 seconds in, and the number one seeded Huskies take the lead, and who else? Number three, Rachel Hill. 11th goal on the year for your co-offensive player of the year in the American. Rachel Hill beats the defender, the goalkeeper as well, to boot. From 30, just tipped up and over the crossbar. A brilliant stop by Sandra Barron, but it'll be a corner kick coming up for the Huskies. What a save by Barron. He's here directing traffic. We take another look. That time McGuire pulls the trigger. The senior eyes for a goal, but Barron able to press it over. The Pirates haven't had a lot of opportunities through the run of play, so maybe they can find something through a set piece. Seagrave, one assist. Keep it short, top of the box. Let booted delivery, it's in. Pirates pull even. What a goal, what a strike. Absolutely fantastic work. Autumn Barry with the goal, and that was all set up by Seagraves. Seagraves took the corner, short to the top of the box. No one marking Barry, and Barry buries it. What a strike by the defender, and timing her first goal of the year. Look at this, into the roof of the net, just under the crossbar. That is professional quality. That is a world-class goal. A little give and go. Straight away, 30 yards on the fly, a classic from distance. Maddie Dahl with her second strike on the year, a big one. UConn back up, 2-1. Time, room, Dom takes the shot. What a goal. One of the more spectacular goals you will see at any level. Dom, ball at her boots, surveys from about 30 yards out into the upper 90. May have even kissed the bottom of the crossbar on the way in. As this set piece from the corner, Urbanek, unanimous all rookie team selection. Ball settled. UConn has that insurance they've been seeking all match long. Patterson settles it, plays it on goal. Don't know if it took a deflection, but either way, well deserved from Toriana Patterson, the red shirt junior from Yorktown Heights, New York. She has played spectacularly defensively and rewarded on the other end. The former Georgia Bulldog has her first goal as a Husky, and it comes here in Dallas. And you see... Patterson able to settle it, takes the shot. Hill may have redirected it into the back of the net. We'll see who that goal is awarded to. One of those two teams, UConn perhaps for a second straight year, or Cincinnati will be in Sunday's final. The final seconds melting off the clock here in Dallas. Huskies, 8-1 in the regular season, your number one seed. Come here to the campus of SMU with one goal in mind to raise their second straight tournament title and add to the showcase up there in stores. 3-1 the final here at Westcott Field. When it's all said and done, the game-winning goal belongs to Maddie Dom, her second on the year for the junior midfielder. Huskies improved to 17-2. and two. East Carolina will see its season come to a conclusion. Eight wins, ten losses, and two draws, finishing eighth in the American. I'm with the victorious UConn Huskies, their head coach, Lynn Santiris. And, Coach, before we get to this match, you got to tell us a little bit, possibly nervous moments for you there in the first half. The score line, even at 1-1, something you, you haven't been very used to this season. Well, all the games that we play actually were very close games. Uh, we won games in overtime, and that mean, I mean that in the conference. The, the conference teams are very, very close together. It doesn't matter if you're number one or number ten. You have to fight to win the game, which it makes the conference good. Uh, so there's not really... We're, um, it was a very close game until you know we scored another goal. Still, it was close. Uh, but... We got our kids work hard, and I think that was a tribute to them for not letting anything else happen. 
for fighting and uh, finally getting the goals. And uh, that's really where we, the bottom line is to get the goals. Coach, thank you very much. Best of luck Thursday in the semifinals against Cincinnati. We now move on to the co-offensive player of the year, the preseason player of the year in the American Athletic Conference, Rachel Hill. You've garnered numerous nomina nominations. You've been a fantastic player. Talk to us about this match. As your coach said, you guys never gave up. You kept fighting and eventually the 3-1 victory. Yeah, I mean, we just worked together this whole entire game. We knew it was coming in it was going to be a battle no matter who we were playing. So we were up for the challenge and never stopped working. Any added pressure on you as the defending tournament champions? I mean, I guess we have a little target on our back, but we can handle it. Well, there it is. Rachel, thank you for your time. Best of luck on Thursday.